friends are the best when they're by your side when you need them the most. And that's one group's mission in Florida. The bet page. The bet page. That's it. We have been embraced. Our work has been embraced. The demand for our services has grown exponentially. This is Tibet, and this is Lauren. Lauren, get. And they are very good at it's their job. Gives. Good job, buddy. Brenda Coker is a guardian ad litem and the director of the Courthouse Facility Dog Program of Voices for Children. Tibet and Lauren calm traumatized children who have experienced abuse, abandonment. The dogs are also trained to help kids find their voice during courtroom testimony, depositions, and more. The dogs help calm those deeper regions of the brain so that they can access the higher regions of the brain that they need for language to talk about what happened to them. Back in 2014, Tibet was Florida's first courthouse dog right here in Hillsborough County. Lauren joined the team this February to help handle an increase in demand. Because of COVID, we're expecting kind of a tidal wave of new uh, child abuse cases. For privacy reasons, these are children of employees, but no matter, Tibet and Lauren are trained to comfort all kids. Even though we don't may not think that these are impactful interactions, they're highly impactful to the kids. Well, today was the day where Leo, the dog who decided to rough it in the Montana wilderness for two months straight, was finally reunited with his owner. So every fall, our family takes a trip out to Red Lodge to go hiking just because it's so beautiful. Leo's owner, Melissa, said that after arriving at the lake and letting Leo swim for a bit, she decided to go back to the top to shelter from the high winds that it picked up. But Leo, on the other hand, decided to run back down to where her family was, so she thought. 45 minutes later, they came back up, and my dad asked, where's Leo? And I, I said, I thought he was with you. Melissa said that her and her family searched for Leo for three hours, but he was nowhere to be found. And then what could have been days to weeks later, one Fishtail Montana resident said that he saw Leo on his property, but Leo was a little too nervous to approach him. The next day, though, while he was processing some elk meat, Leo came right up for some treats. I would make tuna and sliced turkey and chicken and things like that. And so my wife said, well, maybe you know, he, he maybe not, let him be on his own for a while. But I kept sneaking things out of the house to feed, feed him. And then, with the help of John, a tremendous amount of fishtail residents who kept Leo fed, a Billings animal rescuer, and the huge community who came together on the Billings Lost Pets Facebook pages, Melissa got the call that her dog Leo was safe and sound. And I just assumed that he was gone forever. A real happy ending. And we'll end it there too. Find more stories on goodtoknowtv.com. It's a website packed with positivity. And that's good to know.